In this video, we're going to take a look at three different scenarios to do this kind of work energy question. And the first one being there's no friction acting on the blocks as it moves from position A to B. And the second scenario, the difference is there's a frictional force okay, of 2 Newton as you move from A to B. And the third one, almost identical, is just that as you move it up, there's a gain in the speed. So there's a gain in Ke. Before we start solving this question, let's recap some basic concept here. I hope we can still remember this question. If you have three identical blocks here and you are going to lift it up to a height of H over here, whether you lift it up vertically, diagonally or in such a path, the gain in GPE is the same. They are the they are all having the same GPE, MGH, because the mass is the same, the G is the same, and the vertical height is the same. If you see in terms of work done equals to force times distance, it will be the same also. The work, sorry, the force in this case will be the weight. Okay, and the weight is acting vertically down, so the distance in this case is not the diagonal distance or whatever, you do not need to care about that. You only care about the distance that is in the direction of the force. So in other words, parallel distance, so that will be your H. And as you know, W equals to mg H. So they are the same. So for all these three scenario, the work done is the same. With that concept in mind, let's take a look at the first question here. So there's work done by this pulling force up the inclined plane from A to B. And it's the same as the work done to bring the box up vertically through a height of 3 meters. So as we learn, the GP here must be equal to the work done by the pulling force. And there's no other uh, energy here, just these two. So the gain in GP will be MGH here. And the work done by the pulling force will be the unknown force times the distance. So it's given that the mass of the block is 2 kg times 10 times the vertical height, which is 3, is equals to the unknown force times distance. Now, this distance has to be in the direction of the force, in other words, parallel to the force. So I'll be using 5 instead of 3. So if you solve this, F will be 12 Newton. So basically, you only need 12 Newton to bring the box up from A to B if there's no friction. So now let's take a look at the second scenario where there's a friction of 2 Newton. Now, writing it simil in a similar format, the gain in GP will be the same, which is 60. Okay, but on the other hand here, the work done by the pulling force Previously, there's no friction, so this is what you have, which is understood. But now, because there's friction, there's an additional thing work done against friction, and because of that, I need to put in more force. This force has to be greater, because some of it will be used to overcome the friction. So this work done by the unknown force minus away work done by the friction. Then that is equals to GP, which is 60, which we found earlier on. So now force times 5 minus away friction, which is 2 times the distance 5 or so, because this friction and this will be the in the the distance move in the direction of the friction. So if you solve this, F will be 14 Newton, which is higher, and that's correct. And another way to check is Take a look at the resultant force acting on the box. Okay, previously you only need 12 Newton. So the resultant force acting on the box will be, this is the resultant force, it will be the pulling force which is 14 Newton minus away the friction. You still get back 12 Newton. Okay, and some of you may not be able to see this. Okay, you may see it the other way and it's fine. Okay, some of you see it, the total work done that I put in by this pulling force, all this will go, will be converted into gain in the GPE and plus the work done against friction in the form of heat and sound. 
and if you see if you feel that this is easier for you to understand fine i mean go ahead and, and write this equation out because they are e effectively the same it depends on which one you find more comfortable with or easier to understand so now, now let's take a look at the last scenario here where there's a gain in the ke okay so i'll start with my typical gpe here the gain in gp will still be the same because it's still the the raise in height of three meters and it all starts from the work done by the pulling force minus away work done by the friction and minus away the gain in the ke okay so this will be force times five minus away two times five and minus away half mv squared the mass is two and the speed is given in the question two meter Per second square and if you solve this this will be 14.8 newton so once again you know that this is supposed to be the highest compared to the other two scenarios because there's a gain in ke and this comes because you have to apply because you apply a greater force okay another some of you may see this way all the energy that I put in comes in the form of work done by the pulling force and this energy will be converted to gain in GPE plus work done against friction and plus some energy goes to the gain in KE so if you are comfortable with this and better in seeing this way can because these two are the same so I hope with this video you are able to in future, you're able to solve this kind of question.